Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is JJ and today I have another pick a card for you guys. I decided to just do two this time because Spirit told me loud and clear that they're going to get a little bit um, deep and personal. So um, I'm just going to do two this time. And like always, um, the timestamps are listed in the description box below along with my email for personal readings and also my Instagram is always listed in the description box below as well um, so they're like always these are general so take everything that I tell you with a grain of salt if something resonates great you know if it doesn't just let it go don't worry about it um, wait for another pick a card or um, there's different tarot readers out there as well and let's see what else do I want to say before we start so we have option one and option two I have this beautiful crystal here I don't know what type of crystal it is I forgot um, I got this in the witch's moon uh, subscription box and it's a beautiful I believe it has mica because it has little like flexier but I don't know exactly what type of crystal this is but it is a green crystal and I do feel like whatever information that I'm picking up here I'm picking up healing there's a lot of healing and I don't know yet what I'm gonna title this video but I know it's gonna have to do because spirit already gave me kind of a little bit of the energy in it so there's gonna be a lot of wounds a lot of things that are coming up for you at this time and a lot of us are feeling it and I feel like it's um Okay, Spirit just said, uh, what we're kind of getting with these pick of cards is why are we struggling? Like, why was the struggle? Yeah, I can't put it into words, but we'll see what comes up. So, like always, if you already picked your stack, go to the description box below. Fast forward to your selection. So, let's get started with option one. So, for those of you who picked option one, we have perseverance wow number 38 so that's 11 i love these cards every time i use these cards a lot of stuff comes out a lot of healing a lot of um getting in touch with our emotions happening here okay oh wow a twist in the tail and snake princess the unexpected a change you did not see coming their serpentine path to power and of course i had to choose this stack that's the stack i had chosen so if you chose the same one as me there is something unexpected that is coming your way okay but let me channel let me let me get in tune here i feel like spirit's giving me here that you had to persevere for most of your life okay spirit is saying you if you really take a look at your life if you really review your life up to this point you will see that there was a lot in your life that you had to go through there was constant challenges constant tribulations constant battles that you had to endure okay i'm hearing for a lot of you you had to experience um and had to go through the unexpected death of a loved one when you were a child someone that was very close to you um for others of you i'm hearing that you know you you had to experience a a, a parent who was very depressed who sadly couldn't be there to do their job as a parent because of the depression or many of you maybe this was you who felt or who was very depressed as a child and you feel like you were robbed from a an amazing childhood because again you you went through something of um of an unexpected death of a suicide of of someone around you maybe a brother someone you looked up to dealing with depression dealing with some type of psychological issue so there's something here in your life whether this is you or someone around you who made your childhood at hindsight um very difficult right very difficult um very very hard it was a constant um struggle it was a constant 
fighting okay that's what i'm hearing um and so the spirit is saying you were brought up because you held so much anger you held so much anger in your life of like why did this happen to me why did i go through this why you know why so x y and z why did this happen why is this situation why did i have to go through that and so spirit is saying you built there was anger built here. And for some of you, you had learned to let it go. For some of you, you're still currently um, trying to let it go. For others of you, this situation is coming up again. Okay. And Spirit is saying the reason why it's coming up again is because you're going to enter a period in your life right now with the unexpected card here of change that is going to make you feel again like you're put back in that position again when you were a child okay and um spirit really wants you to know that that you're gonna be okay okay you're gonna be okay but there's this feeling of your whole life was a constant fighting like i had to fight 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 my way through and for others of you it's like what is that Sorry, I heard a noise outside. And it's a very interesting how I said, you know, it was a constant struggle your whole life. And I'm hearing some, a dog howling outside. Like a pain. And we're talking about your life being difficult as a child so maybe your life was like that you were, there was this constant sadness this constant um just i can't even explain like, i can't find my words <laughs> this is mercury retrograde um like i could see the images in my head but i can't really speak them Spirit is saying like there was this just this, this um this depression this like my life is it's it wasn't it just wasn't easy that's the best way I could put it it just wasn't easy and you grew up with that you you carried on that role of fighting and fighting and fighting and spirit is like and you still do some of you still do it some of you fight 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 or you're constantly looking for something to fight you're constantly looking for something to be a struggle because you're so used to life being a struggle for you it's like life is not it's not good for you if you're not constantly struggling Spirit is saying you, you've become addicted to the struggle. And the thing is that you had let you have left or you had let your personal pain cloud your judgment. Okay. And spirit is saying now again, some of you have just healed through this. Some of you are still going through it. Some of you just healed it. Some of you, again, and I feel like Spirit is bringing this up because you're going to go through a situation where you're going to be put back into this position. And I feel the reason for that is, is to finally break free from that situation, from that memory or from that um, habit, that, we, that, that behavior that we have um, ingrained in our, in our psyche. And spirit, the, the thing here is what why spirit is bringing this up. If you're like, JJ, why is this coming up? The reason why spirit is saying why this is coming up at this time is because there's going to be a twist in your life. There's going to be something, something you did not see. This is like the tower card in this deck. So something unexpected. There's a twist in your story. Um, there's a change that you did not see coming something completely left field for you is going to happen and spirit wants you to know remember remember what you've gone through remember that you are someone who can persevere in life remember that you are a strong individual that you've been through a lot and you're going to make it through 
this situation. You have the courage. You have the perseverance. You have the the power to keep moving forward. And they're saying now your perseverance on fighting your perseverance your your pers- your perspective on fighting has changed. You no longer fight just to fight. When before you used to because that was so you were so attached to that idea. Now you fight for what's worthwhile. Now you make a stand for love and for peace and for sharing your story. And you fight for what's worth fighting for. And yeah, there's something that's going to come up. Something unexpected. But Spirit really is telling you, I want you to remember of your power. I want you to remember who you are. And yes, maybe when you're put back in that position, you're going to be like, fuck, I had forgotten all the stuff I have gone through as a child. But the reason why it's coming up is to help you remind you that if you made it through that, you will make it through this new thing. And that that situation that you were in the past, that you made it through, that you felt like it was unfair, that it was unlucky, that that um, that made you feel so vulnerable or made or filled you up with so much anger has made you who you are today, has made you a strong individual a person who knows that no matter what you can withstand anything in life and that is your power and the change that you are being brought that's being brought upon you is to put you on that path and that path is not going to be easy it's not and that's why the perseverance card is here is here to remind you of who you are, of your story, to remind you what your power is and what you are capable of. And the time is now. And Spirit really wants you to look back at that and be like, I am a fucking strong person. And I'm sorry that I'm cussing. I usually don't cuss in my videos. but And the reason when I cuss is because I really feel it, like I'm passionate about something. And I really feel it like you need to step into your power. You need to remember. It's time for you to remember all the struggles that you have been through have made you who you are. And has transformed you to the person that you are today. And for a lot of you, I feel like there is a this is for a lot of you, you can really share your knowledge. Share your knowledge, share your wounds with other people. And that is what I have for you guys for option one. And there is, like I said, you know, expect the unexpected. I don't know what it is. I uh, Spirit's not really telling me because there is a lot of different people. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to get a deck out of my box. I'm going to try to pull a um, butterfly oracle card for this change because it is a change. So this card's about changes. We'll see if Spirit wants to give us anything here. What is the unexpected? What is the change that we do not see coming for those of us who picked option one, Spirit? leaving we're leaving something for some of you what you're leaving is the anger the struggle the 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 being addicted to the struggle leaving the wounds behind and being transformed by that and sometimes we get so caught up in of like um why did I have to go through this? Why did I have a shitty childhood? Why did I, or why did I go through this difficult situation in my life? And the thing is, sometimes we go through difficult things to show us 
what we are capable of, right? It reminds me of the saying that God gives his, um, God gives the most difficult wars to his bravest soldiers or something like that. Yeah, you guys, you guys know I'm famous for the, the wrong, like I could hear the sayings in my head, but they never translate. So just know that um, if you've gone through something difficult, I feel like that's about to change. Um, and, and you're about to step into your full power and you're leaving that behind. You are finally transforming. You are finally changing. You're leaving the, 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 the sadness, the wounds, the difficulties behind. And that is the twist. That is the twist in your story. And for some of you, you're leaving something behind that is a struggle. That has been a struggle after struggle after struggle. And Spirit is saying it's now time to leave. And that's going to require you to tap into that perse perseverance quality in you. Maybe you're di maybe you're changing locations. Maybe you're doing something that's completely left field, that you are completely not experienced in that area for whatever reason. And you're just like, I don't know if I can do it. Well, Spirit is saying, yes, you can. You've been through a lot worse. Yes, you can. For others of you, I keep hearing you have a story to share. And um, if you're in writing, if you're in vlogging, or if you ever thought about sharing your story, um, your life through a through a creative process, um, through a creative activity, through a, through something creative, I'm getting, go ahead and do it. It will inspire a lot of people. Okay, so that's what I have for option one. And now let's go to option two. So for those of you who picked option two, we have the beautiful crystal here on top. Let's see. We have number 16. Versatility. Okay. Wow, all of a sudden I just heard different. <laughs> I heard different. Your life purpose is to be different. Childhood treasure resurfaces. And then we have you inspire trust and confidence. Wow. Okay. Let me tap in for a second. They just keep giving me different, different, different. So I'm going to say for those of you who picked option two, there's always been this theme in your life about being different okay you've always been the weird one and it's so interesting because yesterday i heard in the beautiful show that i watch modern family um the little girl said i forgot her name said um weird is just a different way of saying different right so i feel like spirit is saying you've always been different Maybe you've always loved, you know, having these big piercings, having tattoos, having, and you were always judged for it. Maybe you like having your hair in different colors. Maybe the way you dress, it's, it's very out there. It's very different. Okay. And um, I'm getting this energy of like, you had to always go, you were always made fun of, or you were always felt um, bad. People made you always feel different made you feel like an outcast made you feel like you didn't belong just because of how you dressed for some of you i'm picking up the way you dress the way you come across for others of you i'm getting because of your thoughts because of your beliefs because of your ideas right like people always thought like that's not normal like what why do you think like that where do you get that from that's kind of what i'm getting and spirit is saying don't don't forget that the fact that you are different, that you are a versatile person, that is your unique talent. That is what makes you, you. Okay. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of treasure within you. And I feel like you just kind of broomed it under the, under the rug because you were always, for some of you, you changed. 
you used to be a certain way when you were a child and as you grew up because you saw that society or people around you did not respect you did not value you you changed and spirit is saying that's gonna come up again the fact you know your childhood memories are gonna come up maybe there's a friend that's gonna come unexpectedly and is gonna tell you hey you're so different you're not the same person that you were like what made you change and i feel like i don't feel that like in a in a in a negative way i feel like this person is coming in like a teacher for you of helping you bridge that wound of of who that who you were was completely okay and i feel like this person maybe was a person who was kind of like you for some of you i'm getting this person was like you the dress kind of like you they they okay you were kind of similar in that way for others of you i'm getting like this person was considered to be the normal and you were considered to be the different one and this person was still your friend because of who you were like this person really never cared about what people thought even though people probably told them like why are you hanging out with them and i feel like this person is now going to come into your life and they're going to be like you inspired me because of who you were i always remembered that it was okay to be different and that is beautiful and spirit is saying that's going to help you bridge that wound is going to help you heal it too spirit is saying there is great potential here you have great potential i don't know if you lost the idea or you lost the belief in yourself to do something amazing in your life sorry my neighbors but spirit is saying that you were destined for greatness and i feel like this group has a desire to be big and not because of money not because of rich or popular i'm getting like it's just i want to do something great something that's never been done and spirit is saying you have that desire but how you're going to get there to where you want to be is through your uniqueness. And I feel like this person who is going to come into your life to remind you of that, of how you inspired them, will help you see like, oh, you know what? There was nothing wrong with me. I have chills all over my body. <laughs> Spirit just keeps saying versatility is your talent. Your uniqueness is your talent. Don't let anybody tell you that because you are different, you're never going to make it. I feel like you had a hard time also fi fitting in, finding your group. It's kind of reminding me of my son. My son is very much like that. He's an Aquarius rising. And as an Aquarius, I don't know much about astrology, but I do know a little bit. And I know as Aquarius rising, there's always this this in need of fitting in you always want to fit in with the group of people and i always have to remind my son that and i feel like someone here needs to hear that you don't need to change to fit in just be yourself and the right people will come to you you will attract your tribe okay and spirit is saying now is the time to make the stand for your passions now is the time to to make a full commitment to your uniqueness to your weirdness to to whatever it is that people deem different in you spirit is saying now is the time to make a stand for that i'm getting like a shamanistic vibe here i don't know if you wish to because of the snow white and her animal friends here i feel like you're trying to be because what i'm getting here is not that you're trying to be you're you're trying to like there's a sense of a group a community so i don't know if you have a lack of of not finding your tribe not finding your community or i'm also getting that you are meant to lead a unique group of people and how you're going to lead them is by you being yourself by you being your unique beautiful different self okay and spirit is saying learn to let people down there's a this is another big thing with group number two is i'm getting you're a people pleaser 
And that's why I picked up that some of you did change. You changed to please maybe your parents. Maybe you changed to please a loved one, a friend, a group of people. And spirit is saying, no, you have to learn to let people down. It's okay. It's a powerful thing to say no. It's a powerful thing to let people down when you do not, in your heart, you do not resonate with what they are telling you. Why are you going to sacrifice a piece of yourself? Why are you going to sacrifice yourself to be, why are you going to be somebody else? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, why do you want to be somebody else? Like Dr. Sue says, right? Why do you want to be like everybody else when you were born to be different, to stand out? Like, why? Don't do it. You have to be yourself. And Spirit is saying, once you learn that, once you learn that it's okay to let people down, once you learn that it's okay to be different, it's okay to be unique, it's okay to be the weirdo, you will find your tribe and life will get easier for you. Doing your passion, doing de- doing your weirdness, your uniqueness will become easier. At first, it will be challenging. At first, it will be very different. Even though it's you, you're gonna feel like complete. You're gonna feel completely vulnerable. You're gonna feel like no, I I can't do that. Even though it's you. But once you start doing it, once you you do not start giving a shit what people think, then you will call in your tribe. Then you will lead by example. And Spirit is saying, once you tap into that, you will lead with confidence and you will inspire trust in other people. You will embrace. And look at this. She is okay with her. She has, she has you may be a person who's going to attract people from different, different walks of life. You know, from different backgrounds, from different, and whether this is like different literal cultural backgrounds or this is you know, different, all walks of life, like maybe you attract rich, maybe you attract the middle class, maybe you attract people who deemed as weird, or maybe you attract, mm, um, you're just going to have different people in your group, okay, and that's going to be beautiful, and it's going to be welcoming, and you're going to have this, this air of confidence in you, okay, and you're going to make very good friends, and I am hearing this, this friend that's going to come and help you, it's, it's an amazing teacher for you. So if someone from your past comes in, hear them out. What do they have to tell you? And Spirit is saying, you are more ready than what you know. So if there's an opportunity that comes up that 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 um is requiring you to bring out that quality in you do it spirit is saying you are ready you are ready to lead you are ready to be your own unique self you are ready to meet your tribe i wish you guys the best take care of yourself it was an honor and god bless bye